don't need your bulletins because it's more than what you've got there. So, close them up. Here we go. <laughs> the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was draw dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guard shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. For he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead and is indeed is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So Mary and the other Mary, they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priests had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You must say, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. Now if this comes to the governor's ear, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So the guards took the money and did as they were directed. And this story is still told among the Jews to this day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Please be seated. Okay, all right. Well, maybe Jesus is 
like Bigfoot. He's alive somewhere, but we're not sure where or if it's really Jesus. So some of you were up in like Washington and Oregon this last week. Anybody see him up there? Him or Bigfoot. I'll take either one. <laughs> Anybody see him? No. Okay. Well, then here we go. <sighs> and you know what? Not knowing for sure if Jesus and all this is really happening, a lot of Christians are feeling that this morning too <coughs> on this day of resurrection. Our scriptures told us that the Lord allowed Mary and Mary to see him after they saw the empty tomb. And the Marys were joyful and afraid. How can this man they saw die on a cross just days ago now be standing before them and talking to them? Is it a ghost? Are we dreaming? No. That's right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's going to be a preacher one day, huh? <laughs> I'm not liking it. Jesus tells Mary and Mary, do not be afraid. And in those few words, he reassures the Marys that they aren't seeing a ghost or they aren't dreaming. Jesus is alive. Alleluia. Yes, even today, he lives with all baptized children of God. He lives in the air we breathe, the trees that grow, the words we speak. He lives in our action and in our inaction. Jesus is alive today in the bread and the wine that we will partake of this day. Jesus is alive in the weak old babe and in the 90-year-old man, both who have found their way to the font of Jesus Christ. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we also know that Easter tends to always fall on a Sunday. Every single year. Every, every Easter is considered the first day of a new creation. It begins a time when we realize there will be time after the end. There will be life after death. Restoration will be... Re <laughs> Restoration will renew what has been broken. Darkness has been conquered by the light. And we realize that Jesus' own experience of death and the resurrection have become our own in the remembrance of our baptism. And today, we can experience the death and resurrection of Jesus by remembering our own baptism. The font is open, and all are welcome to reach in and touch the waters Put a for cross on your forehead and remember, Jesus is alive. And to make this the most special time to remember your baptism, I ask that you do this if you choose after you receive the gift of our Lord in the water and in, in the wine and in the bread. Yes, Jesus is alive. Alleluia. Easter. Not just today, not just in the next 49 days. Easter is a way of life. It is our life lived out to remember Jesus and what he did and what he stood for. Jesus did miracles. So can you. Have you seen the expression of joy on a person's face that you have visited that hasn't seen a friendly face in some time. You are a miracle to that person. Ever brought you? Oh, no, yeah. You, yeah, you are a miracle. Jesus healed the sick, and so can you. Ever brought soup to a friend? Ever given a stuffed bear to a child in a hospital room? Have you ever prayed for someone ill in body, mind, and spirit? 
Jesus stood with those who lived on the fringes of society and helped them find justice and understanding. So can you. Have you ever walked with protesters to uh, march and to speak out for those who seem to have no voice? Have you sat with, looked into the eyes of, and talked with someone who was not like you? Just a side question to that. If you have, were you ever the same? Jesus did all these things and more, not to piss off the establishment, but to show us how to love one another as Jesus loves us. Our walk and our words say more about Easter than any sermon can ever say to another person. Yes, Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Does Easter have meaning for us today? Is Jesus alive today? I've given you my answers as I see them in my world today. It's now up to each of you to find the answers for your own life, for your own understanding, and for your own experience at the empty tomb. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.